Hello, my name is Max Joseph. I'm owner of Direct Action Group. I have over 30 years of involvement in the special operations training community, and I've traveled to well over 20 different countries. So what I'm gonna to talk to you today is about the three-tier survival kit system. This is based on how we ran it when I was in the Marine Corps uh, with 1st Recon Battalion, and, but it still applies today without a doubt. So this is your first line of survival, this is your second line of survival, and this is your third and proportionally they can they each last for longer durations for my tier one this is the macpedition mini pocket organizer your tier one kit actually goes on your body right and i'm talking in my cargo pocket for me it goes in my right side cargo pocket that has all my main essentials where if i was unable to access my other tiers of equipment i, I should be good to go for a short term we have several essentials for a proper tier one survival kit number one for my signaling I have my signal mirror, and notice how most of this equipment is all dummy corded in. My fire making capability, I have both a Swiss steel here, and I also have waterproof lifeboat matches inside of a crush proof, waterproof uh, metal container. For shelter making, We've got a wire saw here for cutting limbs and cutting other foliage. Never go anywhere without your 550 cord. Also have rigorous tape on the outside of this pouch right here, which is conveniently wrapped around a credit card because rigorous tape and 550 cord are the two main essentials. In here, as far as water gathering, we've got condoms. These will be placed inside of a sock to scoop water out of the stream. They can also be used for waterproofing your cell phone or waterproofing your radio handset. And then lastly, I have foil here, which can be used for boiling water or cooking small chow if you're fortunate enough to catch anything like that, but hopefully you won't be out there that long. So in conclusion, I find the Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer perfect for carrying my Tier 1 kit on my body. As you can see, it contains everything here and it fits comfortably and lays flat against my pocket. Also, the elastic straps on the inside and the external pouches on the outside allow me to organize all my stuff where I know where it is, even at night when I can't see it. So for my tier two equipment here, I've got the Maxpedition Proteus VersaPack. So just going over this briefly, and this is by no means complete, but this is the, the basics that you would want in your tier two equipment. On my external pockets right here, I have my flashlight, which is dummy corded in. I also had a flashlight on my body we talked about previously. This is my secondary one. I've got my multi-purpose tool, which ideally would be dummy corded in as well. And my other pocket, I have a compass, which is also a secondary compass because I have a primary on my body with my tier one. External pouch out here. I've got a broken down MRE. Inside the main pouch, the basics here, I've got my cat tourniquet. I've got my Israeli dressing that go obviously right on top where they're easily accessible. Lastly, I have my 15 foot sling rope with two locking carabiners in case I need a net and negotiate any rocks or do any kind of uh, descents. I bring the bite through my legs, bring my running ends through, up and around. Cinching it down, making sure it's nice and tight for both safety and comfort when you break. On my left side, I will then tie a square knot and I will half hitch each side of that square knot for extra safety. At that time, I would stow any excess in my pocket taking my carabiner, bringing it down and through both my ropes and rotating around so my gate is up and away. I'm now ready to hook on my main line and rappel with my right arm as I come out of that bird. So if I have to drop my main rucksack because of escape and evasion reasons, or possibly I'm getting in trouble in, in the water where I need to get rid of that thing, my secondary care, like my Maxpedition Proteus VersaPack here, is great because it stays on my body, but I'm not fully encumbered with the rucksack. I'm still able to run, and I'm still able to sustain myself in the field for several days if necessary. And then for my Tier 3, I've got my Maxpedition Falcon 2 pack. Everything that we're going to be going over here is the basics. What you're going to have in here is going to be totally mission dependent and how long you'll be out in the field. On the outside of this thing, I've got my poncho. In addition to using it in a conventional sense for protecting yourself from rain, it could also be used for shelter construction. It could be used for making a field expedient litter for cows evacuation. 
and it could even be used for water crossings if you construct a poncho raft with it. So with all the uses your poncho has, I strongly recommend you carry one of these, even if you're just going on a short trip, because it may turn into a longer one than you expected. So that's my poncho on the outside right there. On my first external pouch, I've got my water purification gear, I've got my bug juice, and I've got my foot powder, and I've got several pairs of spare socks on the inside of here. My upper pouch right here, be a secondary pair of binos, dummy corded in. Inside my main pouch, or my secondary pouch now, I've got spare water bottles. I've got MREs, they're broken down. Inside my main compartment now, I've got my poncho liner. I discussed the poncho earlier. One of my best friends told me that the two best things that come out of the Vietnam War was a P-38 can opener and a poncho liner, and he definitely was not wrong. So this goes with the poncho uh, for your sleeping gear. Also in the main compartment, I've got my rain jacket. I've got small toiletry items, and also I've got more MREs in here. So this is just the basics of what you would want in your tier three equipment for a short-term mission. Everything is gonna be mission-based on the duration and the environment that you're working in. And the concept is as follows. In a survival situation or, or a hostile situation, if we were needed to escape and evade, and I needed to run a long distance, I probably ain't gonna, that ain't gonna happen with this full ruck on. So if I needed to dump my ruck, I've still got my tier two on my body, which would be able to stay me for a few days. If for whatever extreme situation, maybe I was in the water and I'm, I'm getting in trouble drowning and this is snagged on something, if I had to jettison this, at least I still have my tier one in my pocket, which has my immediate life-saving essentials. So the whole concept here is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your gear in your backpack because if something happens to that or you get separated from it or a bear demolishes it, you're gonna be in a bad situation. 